Have you ever wanted to bring a project idea to life to help you gain experience, earn money, or even get a job? That's what being able to code side projects can unlock for you. But most students end up never making a single project throughout their four years in college. Why? Maybe it's because they're busy with classes and exams, more focused on keeping their grades up, or because they don't know how to get started. If you want to code projects that will help you learn more than your classes are teaching you, and actually get you tangible experience that the internships and jobs you're applying for actually look for, then keep watching. What most people don't know is that you don't need to put in 20 hours a week to achieve this. You just need to know a few tricks. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three key things I've learned from coding three side projects in one semester in college that helped me get an internship at Google and interviews at a bunch of startup companies. I'll give you an actionable roadmap for you to write the first line of code for your new project. Even if you're starting from scratch and have never written a line of TypeScript or whatever other language in your life. Let's start with the foundation that everything else builds on, define. Before you even start coding, you need to know what you're gonna make. The more genuinely passionate about whatever you're building, the easier it is to find yourself working on it. Discipline is important, but try not to rely on it Instead, make the journey fun. If you wanna learn some specific skills, this is your chance to choose a tech stack that can maybe give you some job experience or teach you a new concept that you wanna learn. Once you have your idea, a lot of people wanna know what is the best programming stack to use. My advice, pick a popular language and framework, for example, Python, JavaScript, React, SQL, that you wanna learn and uh, learn it, pick that one because there's also more support for these languages online and when you're using AI tools. Now that you've picked your coding language and you're ready to start, here's the mistake that most people make next. Don't do this one. <laughs> uh, don't skip the learning, right? You're probably wondering if you can use AI tools to make the process easier. AI is all around us. Everyone uses the code now. Swede might be dead. So should you just use AI to do your side project for you? The answer is yes. <laughs> You actually should, but, but wait, but wait. Um, let me tell you something before you do that. AI tools can be extremely counterproductive if used incorrectly. Let me explain what I mean. Not only can they destroy your code base if you mess up and you don't know what you're doing, but more importantly, they can distract you from your original goal. If you're like me, you probably want to learn something new and maybe slot a few new skills into your resume while you work on your side project. Letting Cursor or Claude Code write your entire app while you code in English defeats the whole purpose. And it's not gonna look good for you when a recruiter asks you to explain your project to them and you can't, and you haven't learned a single thing from that project. Instead, consider following tutorials to grasp the basics and it's really important to build a strong foundation. Without it, there's no point in using AI tools. A great resource to help you on your coding journey and one that I've personally used to learn React myself when I was first getting started is Scrimba. Uh, Scrimba is an online platform that offers interactive courses on topics from full stack engineering to React to AI development. And they have a unique Scrim format, which is why I think it's a lot better than just following a random tutorial on YouTube. Their Scrim format lets you directly edit and run the code from the video that the teacher is sharing. Uh, this allows you to learn hands-on and it helps you avoid getting stuck trying to follow along uh, with like a random YouTube video. If you're anything like me, you've had the experience uh, of trying to follow along with a coding tutorial only to get stuck on step one or step zero when you're still installing dependencies and setting up the coding environment so you can just start like the first problem, the first line of code that the dude is showing you and you just can't run it because nothing is set up. You get a million errors. It's not talked about in the video, you know, it's just done for. So yeah, if you've ever had that experience, then you already understand why Scrimba is a game changer. Scrimba also puts a huge emphasis on project-based learning, which I am a big fan of. It's perfect for you to practice creating a few projects with some assistance before trying to conquer your own. Over 80% of the content is completely free, and I especially recommend their full stack engineer pathway to get a quick start into creating your own standalone projects. They have a super welcoming Discord community where you can ask questions. I'm also really excited to announce that Scrimba is sponsoring this video and also my channel's first sponsorship. Um, Cause I was gonna put them in this video regardless. I have genuinely used Scrimba myself 
when I was first also trying to get into this world of side projects and I had no idea what I was doing or where I was going, um, they gave me a good place to start and I'm super grateful that they're sponsoring this video. I can get you guys 20% off if you use my code uh, in the description and I really recommend that you check it out. Just know that I was in your footsteps pretty much one year ago and now I've coded many side projects. I really find it fun and I've learned so much and it all started by taking the first step on Scrimba and learning how to use React. So I cannot recommend Scrimba more. But remember, 80% of the content is free, so please just give it a shot. Also, it supports me, so I can create more content like this for you guys. Yeah, so once you've built that foundation, you know, hopefully with Scrimba, you're gonna be 100 times better off. As a student, you're probably really busy with classes, right? Now that you have the basics down, here's how you can use AI tools to 10X your workflow and get back your time in the week so you can Focus on being a student while also taking strides in your career and making side projects. The two most popular AI code editors out there right now are Cursor and Claude Code. I personally recommend Cursor since it's more beginner friendly and allows you to restore checkpoints if it ever messes up. Whether you choose Cl Cursor or Claude Code, the unfortunate reality that I'm gonna tell you now is that neither program is just that useful without a subscription. And that subscription is gonna set you back $20 a month for any significant usage. I'm just being honest here, do not shoot the messenger, please. As you know, AI coding can be extremely dangerous for your learning and for your app itself. So when you're vibe coding, there's a three-step process that you should always follow. One, decide on the next feature that you wanna make. It could be your new landing page, the backend semantic search API, uh, but always make sure that you can define a specific goal. Never tell the AI to just build the whole app at once. It's not gonna work, the code's gonna get complicated, you're not gonna learn anything, and it's gonna crumble. Two, once you know what you're making, always do a first run where you ask the AI to generate you a detailed plan on how it wants to implement this feature. Read this plan carefully. This is where your fundamental knowledge and the foundations that you built will be important as you make corrections or ask for clarification. Oftentimes, you'll want to narrow down the plan even more to focus on a single functional change. I recommend the 3T principle if you're wondering if the feature you're building is too big. Keep it tiny, testable, total. Make sure it's simple and tiny as it can be. Make sure you can test the feature when it's successfully implemented. And make sure what you implement is a complete feature, even if some parts need to be simplified in the beginning. Now, once you're happy with the plan, make sure you checkpoint your code with Git, then go ahead and run the AI. Be prepared to send a few follow-up prompts to fix issues, and sometimes go in yourself to correct the small mistakes. But overall, using AI is gonna boost your code output literally by 10 to 20 times, letting you spend less time on your project, more time learning important things, and more time with the rest of your life. Now that you're well on your way, I have a few bonus tips that help me go from stagnant to pumping out 20,000 lines of code a week. Uh, well, not me, cursor, right, but <laughs> you know. So one, set a routine, right? I really benefited from setting a routine where every Sunday morning, I would code in the lounge. This helped me make consistent progress in my projects and also helped me limit the time I spent coding so I had time to do my homework and to apply to jobs. Also, code with friends. Make the process as fun as possible. Having friends with you also gives you a social net to fall back on when you're unmotivated and they can also share their own advice and experiences to help you out when you're stuck. For more vlogs and advice, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Comment what you wanna see next. I read everything and I'll do the top liked idea next if it's appropriate, peace.